Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be connecting algebra with ratios. And we can actually use algebra to understand ratios. And in that process I think you'll enjoy it because all this work with ratios will actually help us understand algebra in a deeper way. Right? So there's a nice connection here between algebra and ratios. But before we even get into any of that, let's remind ourselves what ratios really are. So, so let's say we have um, a ratio of 4 to 5. What does this mean? Well, it depends on the context, but most likely it'll mean you have 4 of something for every 5 of something else. This is called a part-to-part -part ratio, right? There are two different parts to it that represent different groups. So let's just keep going with that and pretend, for example, that we have 4 children, maybe in a room or something, for every 5 adults. That could be our ratio. And again, part-to-part part just means that, well, it's not like we have four-fifths or four out of five. We have four children for every five adults. And we could write that as a fraction. We shouldn't be confused because this can be written as four over five. That's the same thing. But just be careful. This does not mean four out of five. That's very different, right? Four out of five is typically what a fraction like this might represent, where you have a whole something and four-fifths of it is this fraction, right? Like let's say you have, a, I don't know, some kind of rectangle, right? And it's cut into five pieces, two, three, four, five. Four-fifths would mean you have one, two, three, four out of that five. This is four out of five. But that's not what this is saying. This is saying you have four for every five that you have. And that's, you know, that is equivalent to this ratio right here, we, we can, but we can write it as a fraction. And um, what it means in, in a physical picture, it's not like this right here. It means that in our group or in this room or whatever, if I have four children, say these are my one, two, three, four children, right? I'll give them little sick figures here. So for those four children that are hanging out, but we also know that we have five adults. That's what the ratio is. So in fact here, what is the total? And that's one thing you always want to focus on on a ratio is, you know, in a simple sense, we don't know how many people there are all together in this group, but for the four to five ratio, we know that means out of every nine people in the room, four ninths are children, right? Four out of all nine people here are children. So nine is the people and four is the children. And we also know that we have five out of nine adults, right? So again, nine people, and five of them are adults. And just to clarify, this is a part to whole ratio or fraction, which is the same thing as, as this picture right here. This was four fifths, it's called part to whole. But really, in a lot of these problems, you'll be dealing with part to part. So kind of the image you wanna to work on is right here. Remember that the ratio compares two different groups and parts, and you know, pay attention to the problem to clarify that. And not only does it represent two different parts, but we should add them up to understand really what's happening. So with four children for every five adults, that means you know we can have nine people around. So let's keep moving forward here. Let's let's work with this problem of four to five. Four children for every five adults. What can we what can we say? One kind of problem you might typically get is that there are 45 people, right, maybe in this room that we're surveying. There are 45 people in the room. And we want to know, well, if the ratio of children to adults is 4 to 5, how many children are there and how many adults? So how do we do this? Well, the key, again, is to remember that this, this ratio means that out of a group of 9, right, there are 4 children for every five adults, right? For every five adults. So that means, uh, you know, out of nine, this is a group of nine, four of them will be children, and five of them will be adults. So we can think of this right here as a group of nine. So now the question, I think, becomes a little bit easier because if there are 45 people all together in the room, and every group of nine people in that room has four children and five adults, the only thing left to figure out is how many groups of nine are in 45. And an easy way to figure that out is to take 45 and divide it by nine. Or you might see it written like this, 45 divided by nine. 
and that that's five. Now this five is not your answer, you're not done. This means that there are five groups of nine in the room. So we'll keep working with that. There are five groups of nine. Now since each group of nine has four children and each group of nine has five adults and there are five groups, that means there are, well, there are four times five children, right? There are 20 children because each group, again, each group has four children in it. We have five of these groups. Multiply it by five, we get 20 children. We have five adults in each group, and we have five groups that fit in the room. So that's 25 children. And we're done. But of course, this is really, you know, this whole playlist is focusing on algebra. So how does this connect to algebra? It's solving for X and all those ideas we typically see in algebra. Well, one thing you want to remember and, and notice here is that when you're scaling up a ratio, you scale up each part by the same amount. In this case, the scale that we scale it up by is 5. So we multiply both parts, children and adults, by 5. And that is the key. So with that in mind, if we're multiplying both parts by the same number, how could we solve this algebraically? What could we do? Um, well, well, the key is, again, we're multiplying by the same number. So I can think of the fact that I have, you know, four children times some number, right? Because we know we have to scale up that amount up to the total people in the room. And we're also going to have, right, we're going to add that to the amount of adults times some number. Because we know that we're going to multiply both children and adults by the same number. Now in the beginning, we don't know what that number is, but we can solve it with algebra because the sum of these two parts, right, and the amount of groups we have will equal the total people in the room. So that's the equation that I would use to solve this. Um, and I'm going to try to re rewrite it in another way in a moment to make sense of it, but that's the key, right? The number of children and adults will be scaled up by the same number x, right? And if we add all those up, it should equal the total number of people in the room because we're trying to say that all the people in the room are, are represented by this ratio. And we can simplify this, this equation. Let me, let me clear this board here so we have some room to write. So we have 4x right, plus 5x equals the 45 people in the room. Well, oops, fix that. So here, if we, if we add these two, we get 9x's, right, 4x and 5x. And now we know 9 times something equals 45. And if we solve for x by div dividing by both sides by 9, here 9x divided by 9 is 1, and 45 divided by 9 is what we found before. It's 5. And that's the number of groups right, that, that we need to actually use, or the number we, we need to scale by, because that's what x was representing in this equation. right? x was the number of times we have to scale up each part of the ratio. So here we're saying you have to scale it up five times. So with algebra, you could solve for that amount and then say, okay, well, this is the amount I'm multiplying each part by. So if I want to know how many kids I have, I take this number and multiply it by four, the number of kids in the original ratio or children. All right? So five times four, again, would give us 20 children. Or I could use it to scale the adults up, right? This number five. Right? Five groups of five adults gives us 25 adults. And you can always check to see if this is working because if you add those two totals up, 20 and 25, you sh should get, oops, sorry about that, the, the 45 people in the room. And we do. 25 and 20 is 45. In the next video, we'll look at some other similar examples. I hope this is helping you get some intuition and, and, and understanding on this topic. Thanks.